before we move to approve the agenda, I'm going to tell you right now that discuss approved semi parking. Royce Kenneman will not be present tonight, so that will be dropped. He would like to be on table next meeting. Hello, David. Hey, Chris. How are you? Good. So with that change, I think that's the only change in it, Chris. Uh, uh, move to approve the agenda with a deletion. I'd so move. Second. Second. We moved and seconded to approve the agenda uh, with the deletion of Royce Kenneman. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Approve the minutes from last meeting. I'll make that motion. I second that motion. Moved and seconded to approve the minutes from uh, the last meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Good thing you're sitting down, Chris. Look at there. Both of them. How about that? Uh, payroll has been approved and submitted. <laughs> Bills to be paid. Yeah, the only change we need to make is in Wellmark. That where it says five thousand six dollars and thirty six cents. We need to change that to five thousand thirteen dollars and sixteen cents. Okay, here. I know what. So it changed our total to one five seven four five six point two seven. Run that by me again, Penny. Will you please? You want the final number? Bo both, please. Uh, Change that number to uh, five thousand thirteen dollars and sixteen cents. Okay. And then the final number is one five seven four five six point two seven. Thank you. Any questions on the bills that we paid to Francis? Questions? Anybody? Motion to approve the bills to be paid. I so move. Second. second Moved and seconded to approve the bills to be paid. All in favor say aye. 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 All, right. uh, all opposed nay. Motion passed. CDBG project update. Yeah, Ben is here from Sunquist to talk about that. And I'm also going to tell you too, I don't, I'm not sure Ben knows about this, but uh, we talked to a person to do some seating. We've got some other seating to do, and so they're going to they're gonna seed down at the well and there's a couple other spots too, little spots that they that they're gonna do some seating for us. Uh, so Dave is is not gonna do the seating, Dave King. Okay. Uh, so the only thing that's really left on the whole project is uh, the gravel, bringing the gravel in at the at the well site there. So make that dry away tape. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> you know that could be done in the next <coughs> couple of weeks I think so uh, we could be polishing this baby off the first meeting in May. Yeah I think he said Maybe this week, but probably next week. Probably next week, okay. Yep. Good. Yeah, so That's good. The only thing on this pay request would just be uh, change order number four. Um, they installed some controls the treatment building. Yeah, at the, at the water treatment building. Yeah, that's the one flow valve. sensor. Yeah, flow sensor, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Any other updates? Projects? Updates? Unless you have any questions. Um, I did not. Do you have that pay request right there? Yes. I did not put that in here uh, for whatever reason. Would you Would you just pass that around to the guys so yeah. they can look at it? Um, I think the total um, now due is twenty eight fifty. Yeah, it's actually in there. Chris. It's in there, Chris. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. Oh, well, I must have just took it out of here, huh? I have four. Yeah. I'll leave one with you and That's take right. three home. Okay. I will. I didn't know. I had to make some copies or not. Bring them to me. Yep. Uh, we're going to move on. Uh, anything else? I move we prove the. No, we got to wait. We got to get down further. To find the pay application is coming. Uh, that was the update. Discuss approve Wimble Gosh grant distribution. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do that very well. They're gonna pretty much leave it as it is. I mean, I mean, how we had intended it to do. Well, I think 
Uh, I think Rob wants to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, um, they were but pa pass some money out to the uh, reach back. Yeah, so let me talk a little bit about the the stuff that I've got in here, Ben. I'm sorry, I I, okay. I mixed that all up in the in the packet. But um, so on page uh, pages seven and eight, you can't really see a lot of what's going on there. Six, seven, and eight. Um, but the whole thing, this is this is what we use to apply for a grant. And what it was is um, Craig Brotherton put this together, put a materials list together. Uh, he, you can see on the top there's a trailer for eighteen hundred bucks. Uh, labor to construct the building is twelve fifty, and then materials and labor to for the electrical is fifteen hundred. Um, and the reason I put this in here is because uh, when Chuck came to me, they asked for eight thousand of that uh, Wilma Gosh grant to go to. The racetrack for the uh, concession stand. Well, uh, you know, I'm not sure why they came up with eight thousand. I think that was just a number that they rounded it off to. Because if you look at the estimate, the total is about seven thousand eighty-three dollars. So that's first of all, that's a little high. Um, second of all, and I think Rob will maybe touch on this a little bit, but I personally don't think we need a, a movable concession stand. And so the trailer is eighteen hundred dollars. If we pour a slab of concrete, uh, that's going to cost us about seven hundred bucks, and it'll save us about a thousand. So now you're from seven down to six. Uh, and I and I also think that if we give Mike a little time to actually look at the building, and and put it, uh, do a, a good bid on it, uh, Mike at the hardware store, I don't think his bid will be fifteen hundred. Um, so so I think. Um, you know, talk to a couple of the councilmen, and a couple of the councilmen think that giving some money to the racetrack is not a bad idea. Uh, I'm all right with that, um, but I don't. I don't think we should give eight thousand for the concession stand. I think we should give five thousand. Uh, I talked to Albert today. He thought we should give four thousand, just for your information, so you guys can discuss that. However, well, I mean, the electrical part of it. I mean, they're putting plumbing in there and everything, or just putting electrical. Just electrical. I mean, I don't know why the hardware store has to do it. I mean, it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Myron, it's, Myron it's could do that or, pretty easily. You know, I, I'll even volunteer to put it in there. I mean, yeah. Not that big of a deal. You can get all the stuff from the hardware store, but yeah, we would certainly put <coughs> it there. But yeah. So yeah, I mean, there you almost could save another thousand, and then you're down to five uh, for the whole building. But I understand their part about it being portable. That way, they can bring it back up here and. Well, what we originally thought, Franny, was use it here and then take it to the football field and use it there. Mm -hmm. uh, the visitor side. Okay. Yeah, on the visitor side. Okay. But it, then Rob, Rob and I talked, and, and Rob said, you know, which is completely understandable, if you do that, then you have to have concessions in this concession stand and concessions in this, your... your uh, doubling your... Doubling your yeah. inventory. inventory. Yeah. And you don't so double, but still, you're, you're going to be off. I mean, you're not going to be able to outguess them. You can't yeah. outguess them with one. I don't know why you'd outguess them with two of them. Yeah. You're right there. So <laughs> it's, it's kind of a tough deal to figure out how much we got. And that's exactly why I thought if we took the trailer out of it and just poured a, a slab of concrete, um, obviously that has footings in it. Mm -hmm. So that's where you get the $700. It's about seven yards. So. So that's my little, you know, I would, I would, you know, I would recommend that we, if we do anything, we do five thousand dollars to the racetrack. Because I know, I know we can get a grant for the catwalk. Well, when I talked to Albert <clears throat> earlier today, he said something about four. Mm -hmm. So, but if we, the catwalk's still going to need some of the money. Mm -hmm. You don't get a grant for the whole thing, right? Well, we, we haven't applied for the Gil Renzi grant, so, uh, and that, that, there is no matching, so we could get the matching funds for that. Uh, but no, you're right, the SETD, if, if we would get the SETD grant, does not pay for the whole thing. That has a match. That's a match. Right. SETD is a match. I knew yeah. that. And if we could give the Gil Renzi grant, what, that comes out at the end of the year? Or no, it's summer? July. July. So for first part of July, June, 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 July, somewhere in there. Yeah, you're right. But we could still apply for it. And I think even if the project's done, we could still apply for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was the estimate for the catwalk deal or whatever? 
4,500. That was kind of like this too. It was kind of done hastily and uh, asked Jamie Shinnamon what he could build it for and he gave a safe number obviously. Mm -hmm. Said I could easily do it for $4,500. So it could be a little lower. Could be, yeah. Uh, I, I, well, you ain't talking. Wouldn't guarantee you, but I would almost guarantee it wouldn't be higher than that. Yeah. Well, I threw a little something into this the other day when I was talking to Chris, and that is uh, if you look at that $50,000 CD that the, the community center has, the main CD, <coughs> that was made up of uh, monies from a uh, Gil Renzi donation and a uh, Elmer Wallison donation. And those guys actually gave that money to the city. Now, it, was, it came in at the same time that we were doing the last $150,000 on this building. Uh, or the last 100000 it was, I guess, that we were uh, asking for donations. And we did get donations from people. Uh, some of them, like some people had given $200, they gave another three to get their name on a plaque, on a $500 plaque, those kind of things. And other people that decided to give afterwards went ahead and gave some. We raised a bunch of money there, too. Uh, the bottom line is we had about $45,000 extra. So we put it into a CD. Since then, we've made it $50,000. That CD is not just burned in stone that it needs to be spent here at this community building. It's just a, it's a nice cushion to have. But what it is is Elmer Wallison and Gil Renzi and others, but you know mainly those two people, Gave that money to the city of Wall Lake to have something happen with it. For betterment. Yeah. So, you know, if we're looking at, uh, we promised these people in the, at the, the shelter, shelter house, house that we were going to cover that $25,000. It's there for us to use. And that's, you know, that's my thoughts on it. I don't know about you guys, but I was on that committee that raised the money. And then those gifts came in and, and uh, we did have more money than we needed to finish off those gifts. So... You know, that's the reason we created the CD. It had really nothing to do with the community center other than we thought we would keep it away from the general fund and have it there in case we needed it for something like this. Now, you know, uh, we proposed that Nancy run that place too and that uh, the revenue from it go in basically into the community center checking account. So you know, they're going to benefit back from the place. Not that it's going to make that much money. It really isn't. Uh, because you're only going to get rent off of it. But, I mean, that's just something to look at. If that's, that's something I would like to see us do is, is take money on that CD. It's due in June anyway, right, Chris? Yeah, it matures in June, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we could make it a $25,000 or a $30,000 or a $35,000 bond, whatever kind of money we needed out of it to cover the rest of what we have committed the city to as far as the, the shelter house. So, you know, with that in mind, we can look at those things too. I, I would like to see this racetrack get their things done that they need to get done. You know, that is... I think you're right, Rob. I think that would bring in more spectators and yeah, it would, it would I, help us. I just think it's a nice addition and there's a lot of people that have worked very hard on it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think it'll grow. Yeah, it's a... It's a scary situation to have the city owning a racetrack, or yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that we're smart doing that. But you know, I mean, we're going to. So the question becomes: How are we going to do it? Are we going to do it right, or are we going to do it wrong, mm -hmm. or do it half-ass? I guess is not wrong, but half-ass. So catwalk, we definitely need. Uh, you know, the the concession stand. The concessions did all right last year without it, but it would be more formal and more yeah. official if we did look more organized and it just would give the place a little look more relaxed. professional yeah it just look we did the stands you know the one year we can do a concession stand this year but you know so with that in mind i i don't know what kind of monies you guys are looking at well my gosh we got how much from that twenty thousand twenty thousand dollars uh they're asking for 13 at the racetrack uh we obviously don't think that they need that much you know but i don't know what kind of number you guys are thinking of Discussion? I have a question on it. Yes. Where, where are you proposing to put this building? Well, just out of curiosity. You know, that's one thing that I hadn't thought about. I mean, uh, if it's movable, it's easy to put somewhere and get out of the way. Uh, I think that might be the better, just for the fact that 
if you're going to put a building, you'd have to put it further to the south of the drive that's there, and then you're going to have to deal with that slope. And yeah, plus concrete. So maybe it would be better to make it mobile. put it on the trailer, and that way it is mobile. So. Yeah. Anything further? Questions? Concerns? Well, if you're going to use it for uh, field over here, too. Yeah, we probably won't use it for that much, I don't think, Ron. Um, that was an idea that the uh, old superintendent had. He'd seen it done before, and so he mentioned that one time and kind of got back to Craig, and, you know, so I'm, I'm not sure that we would do that. We could, we could, if we had it on wheels, we could try it. But uh. yeah, I, I agree with Rob, though. You're going to second guess your inventory. You're going to. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just. Might be more. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. They, they don't hardly get enough people to do the one concession. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the other thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, well, I would entertain a motion if everybody's done with discussion. Well, I don't know we're done with discussion because I don't think we've settled on a price here. I, I, what do you guys think? You want to? I mean, the catwalk is going to be forty-five hundred dollars, probably five thousand. And there, and there, there again, another deal. You know, we've had you know some good volunteering work been done. And there, you know, we can cut that down too. But I guess let's just leave it at that number right now, and we can always, you yeah, know, you can change always, it, change it, it keep up. the money. Yeah. Right. Well, and and Freddie brought up a good point. Agrium is always looking for a project. That all we have to do is donate labor, not money. So we, if we can get it at the right time of the year, you know, uh, uptown retail can supply some labor, out south can supply some labor. You know, we can, like you say, Rob, we can cut that cost down. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Franny, you got a you got a figure in mind? Well, it's. Uh Let's just tenderly right now just go ahead and figure on that seven thousand for the trailer or, or for the concession deal and figure forty forty five hundred or whatever for the uh, uh, catwalk and and you know we can we can tweak it as we go along. I mean, maybe maybe we say you know up to yeah that yeah. much and then whatever it costs uh, that's what it costs. You're saying twelve is right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put that in the form of a motion. That will use four thousand of that one. Everybody uh, understand the motion that Rob has made? Up to twelve thousand, correct, Rob? Right. For the uh, racetrack, the bounce going to the <coughs> shelter house. <coughs> in second. It's been seconded. Who All seconded right. it? You? I did. Franny. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. And we can tweak that as we as we see fit. So <clears throat> okay. Uh, like I say, Royce is he was gonna he's gonna be on the next meeting and he wants to address the council on where he thinks the best part or places would be to park semis. Um, do you wanna bring up briefly, Chris, what Happen to one of our street lights, or you want to just let that go until the next one? Nah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it was, uh, it was an accident. Yeah. I mean, they happen. <laughs> Believe me, I've been there. Oh my gosh, got in an accident. She was 102. That's right. <laughs> that right uh, that was her first one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she just went to the store and said, Waited that long to do that. Huh? She came out of the store and the guy chased her down the we store. Got, we got to do <laughs> SunQuest. <coughs> that should have been in with CDB project. It's not. Oh, I'm sorry. We gotta, we gotta get that done. All right. You're up again. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta. We have to have a motion. Put this down here. Yeah. This is Gamerson Smith. And okay. Yeah. We, we can right. do that. Yeah. I make a motion to approve the pay request for SunQuest for two thousand eight hundred fifty one. Yep, yep. I'd second that motion. Moved and seconded to approve the pay request for SunQuest for two thousand whatever it is. Chris. Two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. 
2850. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Did you want a certain portion of that cut in cash? So. Okay. No preference. Now this, this cuts as clean as this. Thanks for No. Yeah, yeah he oh, does. No, no look, <laughs> look, on, look on here on, me. It's <laughs> on page 10. Yeah. You see where the 2850 is? Yep. Look up above that two lines, 14,972. Oh, okay. right. That's retainage. Retainer. And, and yeah, we okay. keep that uh, until the project is done. So what we're going to do is... Uh, when they get the rock done within the next couple of weeks, then Joe's going to come up. We're going to do a walkthrough okay. with Dave and Rick and make sure that the project's done how we want it to be done. And then we'll owe them for the rock. Excluding the, the uh, seating. seating. We'll owe them for the rock and the retainage then after that. So. Okay. Okay, moving on. Discuss approved final pay application. Goberson Smith. Goberson Smith. Uh, Declined. All right, next. <laughs> See <you> guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Uh, been well, working with Chris and I think Rick, you walked it again. I think everything on the thank project. You. Was, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. See ya. Was uh, taken care of on the project up there. So uh, this last pay request is actually just the release of the retainage that Chris just discussed. <clears throat> Quite a large project, so the retainage is nineteen thousand eight hundred ninety-five dollars and eighty-three cents. Uh, I guess that's all we have is a motion for that, and then I do have the engineer certificate of completion to give you guys a copy of. And then, Chris, I don't know if you can pass this. Can you pass a resolution? Was it on your agenda? Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I thought I sent that to you. So. Did we get put into the log where everything comes out at on the map? On, oh, you want the as -built. Yeah. Yes, I, so printed, them, I printed the as built the file paper, Chris, and uh, I noticed an error on them. So I've got to get that fixed tomorrow, and then I'll just mail them to you. Okay. The as built drawings for this project. So you'll get you'll get sets of the full set of plans. What did you say, okay. Franny? Do we need a uh, resolution? Do we just pass the resolution? First, pat, first pat, uh, pat, pass the pay request. Pass the pay request, right. yes. I'd make that motion. Second. Second. Been moved and seconded to pass the pay resolution to Goberson Smith. Final. The final for uh, nineteen thousand eight ninety five point eight three. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion carried. Now, Here's where you go for your file. That's the uh, certificate of completion for the project, which basically when you pass this resolution here, if you pass this resolution, you accept the work that Coverson has done, and you start your two-year maintenance bond on the project. So, Questions on the project or resolution? You good? Yeah. Okay. I would move that we uh, accept resolution 2015-02. A resolution accepting the work of Schrader's third edition. Second. second. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Moved and seconded to accept the resolution accepting Schrader's third edition work approval. Roll call vote. Rob? Yes. Gary absent. Franny? Yes. Albert absent. Ron? Yes. Motion carried. You have a copy of this resolution, right, Chris? Yes. That you can get signed on. Okay. I will take one of these, and if you would just mail one with a check to Goberson and keep one for your file, we're good to go. Yeah, yeah I've got one. Chris will take both. We'll mail mail one to the contractor with his check. Yeah. That, yeah. No doubt. <laughs> Chris, can you just email me a copy of that? That'd be fine. So. Yes, sir. I can do that. Anything else, guys? While I'm here. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very night. much. You too. Mm -hmm. House is going up yet? Well, we'd like to think they are, but, you know, that's, that's a little slower than what it should be. But. We had another guy call and ask about a lot. Well, that's good. Yeah. So there will be a foundation starting pretty soon. Okay, so we've done the King Construction Pay Report date, right? right? That one's done. Yeah. Uh, discuss security light rate. Uh, yeah, this is just something that I want that I have in here that I wanted to discuss. Um, this is with Jason. We no, we uh, we charge four dollars for having a security light, and um, 
and we've got a few of them around, you know, out south there's a couple of them uh, around the star tank out there, and I think you guys maybe have one down here. Uh, we don't have a lot of them, but, uh, but I think $4 is a little cheap. Um, looked up, and you've got a rate sheet in here. Um, let's see, page, page 13 uh, talks about 640 and 575 unmetered. Uh, just something I wanted to put in front of you guys to see what you thought about it. We get charged nine dollars and fifty cents as it win for one that we have from REC. Yeah, REC. I think that's more. probably a um, number we should probably be working with. Get get closer to that yeah. anyway. You know, maybe seven or eight bucks. I don't know. Uh, <coughs> Nine's easier to remember. Nine's easier to remember. Yeah. Absolutely. And <laughs> and it, what it is is we put them up. We maintain them. You know, they just all they do is pay a flat fee. And, I mean, if you think about it, four dollars is fifty bucks a year. Cheap you, security if you system. Blow a ballast, there there goes the whole <coughs> year. So yeah. Um, so it's just, I mean, we can't do anything tonight. It's just a discussion item, but I wanted to get your guys' feel on it and see what you thought. Um, it's not like it's going to raise our revenue to be able to do any of the rebuild. Could you pull me But fine. yeah, but at least I, I think it'll help pay for whatever labor we would have on them. So. Uh, so that's something that you guys can. So the electricity goes through them is through through theirs. No, their meters or no, they're unmetered. Unmetered. They're unmetered, and and so you can see here where they have a metered and unmetered. You know, if you have a metered, you pay you pay a meter charge, and uh, so we need to be a little higher than that because we put the lights in out there. They all I do is they're for furnishing electricity to us, so we're furnishing the light and electricity. Yeah. Here. Right. So I think we need to be a little higher than, you know. Than $9. Yeah. I'd, I'd say we need around 10, 10 50 somewhere. I don't, yeah. I don't know if that's a good number or not, but, I, you know, I don't think, you know, they've got to buy pretty cheap for a long time. So. Yeah. Well, I guess we should put together, yeah, this is, this is what a balance costs. This is what a mm -hmm. the light put costs, you know, that we're going to put in if we have to replace it. And, sure. And the bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got, and then you know, that's just that's all the physical sure, stuff. Look at material. Got, got like here. Pretty here. It's pretty cheap. You know, yeah. so we can say we're gonna. I mean, we're we're trying to work with you, but anybody wants to complain, it's such a problem. Of years you got it damn near for nothing. So Put you look at it yourself. Then. Yeah, but you know, I, I mean, we're not trying to pick a fight with anybody. No, no, no. And I, I don't think we're ever gonna. It's nice to have them up. You know, yeah. it's nice for uh, our police officers too. You know, let them. I already have lights up where I'm glad people do have them up. So. I believe when I was on the farm, I think mine was $8 a month. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was paying for electricity. Yeah. So I'll just have the pole there, darn light there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what I'll do is bring it back, maybe not the next meeting, but a couple of meetings. I guess when you look at, get some let's just say a, the security light up there, at, uh, that's just, I'm going to use Dick Albright's just because we get a bill for it. Yeah. It's normally around 23 Twenty-two dollars a month for that light, for right. electricity for it. So, you know, using an idea as to what. So we're, we're we're not recapping our money there. We're just we're just trying to maintain. So right. That's a that's a good one to look at. There's is it raining or snowing. Three of them. I Hopefully none of the above. <laughs> you gotta quit drinking, damn it. Especially <laughs> <laughs> wait till after the council meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Long ride open store mark. <laughs> I got a floated one. Yeah, I you guys all of a sudden. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, okay, you done? Any, any more? Any I, more? Think, I think so. I don't know if. Uh, Questions, concerns, comments on the uh, light rate, security light rate? I think we all agree it needs to go this question how much. And you'll have that within a couple of weeks in. Yeah. Put back on the. Okay. How many are we talking about total? I don't know. I, I think there's probably a dozen. Maybe. There's not a lot. Uh, but I can bring you that number too. Okay. <sighs> you must have got the, the guy to give you a pool bid. Yes. Finally. I, I took pictures and I emailed them to him so that way he didn't have to drive all the way up here. Um, and <clears throat> I talked to his partner today 
um, about what they would be doing because you can see the bid. All it says is fifty four hundred. Uh, yeah. That we, yeah. We, we can we can fix it for fifty four hundred bucks, and and so I was like, tell me what so you're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? You know. Uh, so <laughs> so what the guy told me they would do, and he said that they've done this before on pools. Uh, still makes me a little bit leery, but. He said that they come in and they, they look at the cracks and they actually grind out the crack because obviously there's some caulk and there's some yeah. other stuff in there. So they grind out the cracks and they seal them back up with some kind of fancy caulk. I don't know what he called it. Uh, I told him, I said, it, it just scares me that you're going to put caulk back in a hole that we already caulked. And he said that they've done this before on pools and that they've never been called back to a pool that they've done this for. What about the edges then around Does he have some of those names? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't. He didn't. He didn't give me them, but I'm sure I could get them. And maybe that's what we do. Maybe we. Maybe we call those people because it just makes me leery to have caulk put into a crack. You know, especially some of the cracks that are. Well, I think that Rob's got a good wide. idea. Get us some names so that either either me or you or or Rick or or some of the council can go look at these to see. Well, wouldn't we call them and ask them? Oh, I think call and ask you know if they've done it. If yeah. Have had any trouble with it or how long it's been? Yeah. And is, is their pool like ours? It's a kind of a floating base, right, Rick? Isn't that what you would call it? Well, yeah, it's a tub on the ground, is what it is. <laughs> it gets water underneath it, it pushes up everywhere. That one question I did ask the guy, and, and this wasn't the guy that sells the stuff, this is the guy that puts the stuff in. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that the first one that they did was 10 or 12 years ago. And he said they still haven't been called back. Now, does that mean that he hasn't heard about the call because he's not the salesman? The other guy's getting the call. I don't know that, but I think it's a really good idea Probably to some type of epoxy or something. Huh? He, yeah, he had a name for some kind of caulk. I don't know what it was called. I can't remember what it was called. I didn't write it down. But... Well, I'm sure our pool can't be the only one that floats like that. No. Yeah, well, and that was one thing that he said that I actually that I actually liked was that if you put caulk in these cracks, then it gives them the opportunity to move expand. and expand. Yeah. If you sprayed that stuff over them, then if they did that, it probably would crack that stuff. So that part of what I liked. So it, it it's a uh, it's movable where it doesn't break the the bond, and we don't lose the water. Then correct, right? It, 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 if I got it correct, the way you're understanding it, or explaining that's, it, that's kind of the way I understand it. Yeah. Well, I'd like to. I'd like to go look at it when you, Chris, or uh, Rick. Yeah, if you could line up ten or twelve of them, we could take a three-day road trip. <laughs> <laughs> Ron's bringing the yeah, we're just checking. We're just checking this pool out. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna swim anywhere. Everybody's going. Take like a whole van. You get twenty-five dollars an hour for this one. <laughs> hour a day. Holy cow! We put a lot of money. Just get the credit card. Yeah. Oh, there you go. We put All I gotta do is improve it. In that every spring. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, you. If we could find something that would even save us. Well, even just stop the water from le yeah. leaking out would be well, tremendous. We can't keep the water in there, so it leaks out yeah. when we so, set it down. I had a question posed to me today. What does the city pay for the water that we have to pump in there? What does that mean? What is what is our cost to the city? What does water cost us to treat? No. Well, I, I know what it's going to cost. Us. Because because here's the thing. I mean, we 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 have utility bills on on our bills to be paid all Correct. the time. Yeah. Last month, I think it was six thousand dollars. Those utilities probably cost us somewhere around four. But we charge ourselves the same thing we charge everybody else. Oh, okay. So that and it doesn't make any difference because it comes out of the same account as right. Back it in. Move. Yeah. Now. What does our water cost us to treat? It cost us probably about a dollar fifty to two dollars to treat a thousand gallon of water. Yeah, a thousand. Depending gallon. on you know, depending on the month. But you can't say that for the pool because we add extra chemicals to the pool. Because we're losing the water. No, because you have to treat the pool more because it's not you're not just drinking it; you're actually in it. Right. You know, bathing. So yeah, you got it. Yeah, I. I so I you have to add more chemicals to it, so that costs more. Well, we spend about anything this guy can do. Will cost on the side. You, you know, he's just talking about the water that you're. Yeah, running. that's that's sure. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, Rob. Thanks. You know, say, plus if it say it costs us a buck and a half uh, per thousand. Per thousand. And we ran chemicals. two thousand thousand through it. We ran two point <laughs> five million. What's it called? Yeah, two thousand, two thousand thousand. 
So two thousand times a buck fifty is three is three thousand dollars that it actually cost us to treat the water that we put through the pool. Right, but we went through two point five million last year because it leaked. Right. So we've actually got to take that times a buck fifty then. Two thousand. Two thousand is. Oh yeah, we got yeah we got to break it down. Okay, yeah, you got to divide it and then you got to add right, it or multiply. The yeah. yeah, yeah. You're still going to have some water loss just from. No, but if we can cut that in, in yeah, but, even in half. But what I'm saying though is that's the cheap part of it. Yeah. So it cost us three thousand dollars to treat it through our treatment plant, but Plus we, all, we, but we put there. another we put another six thousand dollars worth of chemicals into that pool every year because yeah, so they so, can swim. So it. if we could cut that in half, yeah, then you're talking three thousand dollars. Yeah, you know instead of the fifteen. No, we're making so you could save money actually. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully tremendously. Yeah. If yeah, if this works like they say it will, it could it could pay for itself pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think uh, you get a hold of this guy and, and find out where he's got the closest one so we can go look at it. And All right, I, I don't know if we need to look at. It, just call the people that are, yeah, just the cities and say this guy's done some work. I think that'd be the best thing. To what do, do you is think? Call the person at the city because they're going to say yes, it worked or no. Yeah. Or well, I wouldn't do it. Or yeah, we had, we had right. yeah. It'd be nice to look at it though, wouldn't it, Rick? To me. I would. Depends on where where it is. If it's in Florida, then it'd be great to look at it. Well, I was thinking more Hawaii. <laughs> they don't have pools over there. Walk on the water. Well, they don't need them over there. Okay. I can walk another th another way. thing I want to say about this too is we have three thousand dollars in a in our pool account at Westside to help with this cost. Oh, that's good. So that's good to know. Thank you. Well, you yeah. look at the money that we always we always figure that pools about a three thousand dollars. You know, if we yeah. can. Cut some of that money off, but that's the greatest thing. Yeah, we anywhere we can save money down there is a good thing, I think. Yeah, I think look, we've done a lot of improvements there that's going to help oh, us there, but, yeah. you know. So. Look how much money we've saved. We put in that new furnace yeah. to heat the water, and we put in that, that, thank God for Rick, that we put in that new chemical treatment deal. That other one was a joke, wasn't it, Rick? That's another cost, too, that you don't think about is the gas that goes through that. The yeah. more water that runs through that pool, the yep. cooler it is and the more you have to heat it. So. Yeah. Especially when it's leaking out right away. Yeah. When you're not even using it. It should yeah. be sitting there just getting warmer and warmer. Mm -hmm. We're adding. It doesn't. We're adding more, more than we're heating. We're, add, we're adding more cool water, which is going to be reheated. One of the, one of the complaints I hear from the pool is that it, it's never very, the water's always cold. I mean, it's never. Yeah. So it, sure it, it is to start, but once we get going. Yeah. And well, see, the right. problem is you're you're right. you keep adding more cold water to it because we keep leaking. So mm -hmm. yeah. 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 it never right. gets a chance. You should get to a point where we're actually just maintaining it. Yes. You're exactly right. Now, if it's 150,000 gallons and we ran two and a half million in it, I'd say we are turning over pretty regularly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can bucket out that fast. Pretty fast. <laughs> okay. Any other, any other discussion on that pool? Find out. And I'd be very interested because I think Rick and I would take a road trip just to go look. I want to see what kind of... <clears throat> seal they've got to it and if, if Rick could see something where it's cracked or it's still leaking and they're kind of feeding us line up. If we can keep water in it, that would help. It. Yes. Further, it's just a never ending battle. It leaks out, it, free, it frosts underneath there, keeps the pool up. That's right. And it pushes the seams apart again every yeah, day. Yeah, and if we could keep the water in it, it wouldn't do the heaving right. as much. Well, another, no. another question I'd like to do, Rick, is, is do what Odebolt does once, because when we talked to Tyser over there, Throw some timber in there and let it, don't drain it. But it, it leaks so bad, like Rick said, well, we lose all our water anyway. If we can get this half-ass sealed and let the, let the water freeze, right, halfway full, so it doesn't get to move up and down. See, we can get this battle half-ass fought. They drop a telephone pole or something in there every fall. Um, hmm. oh, I know. Six of them, wouldn't it? People in my neighborhood when I was a kid, they threw about... Six logs in their pool. Mm -hmm. Just something to break. That's what Tyson yeah, said. Yeah, it just allows the ice to mm -hmm. take freeze. Some pressure off of the sides. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> pavement doctor, street ceiling bid. Yeah. Our streets are sick. So we called the doctor to see what he would do. Give me the news. Uh, so basically, what. Him and I drove around and just looked at some potholes and, and stuff that uh, we need to fix. Now, Franny and I talked a little bit today about 
uh, maybe adding some to this down on First Street. If you look down on First Street by their buildings, uh, the edges of the road are just flaking away. And if we don't do something there, it's just basically going to, I mean, the, the street's going to be gone. Keep moving out. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is uh, <clears throat> ask this guy when he comes back to try to fill that in. <coughs> uh, and I would guess that it would take at least this much there as it did for everything else. But uh, we, can, we can bring that back to you later. Um, this is probably 50 little potholes, little, you know, this size mm -hmm. that are just small, deep. Um, it's like what's always up to the fire department. Between. Right. Well, he did that last year. Yeah, there's one up there. Well, yeah, yeah, there's one up there on the corner right now, just right on the very edge. It just, I mean, it's just a little tiny thing, and there's, there might even be a hundred of them. I don't know, but, but uh, I've got a printout of each one of them that we talked about and, and he said that it wouldn't wouldn't exceed uh, 10 ton, $2,750. My question to you, Chris, is if, because I told you that Bill Tyser called me and wanted to know if, if he could split some cost, would it, would it do us any good if Tyser would be interested in doing this thing over at City Voter Bowl? Would that help cheapen the whole thing up? They've done this before over in Odie Bowl. Okay. I don't think it'll cheapen it up because I don't think this guy charges anything to come here. Okay. I think he charges a straight 275 Flat a ton rate. and that's it. Okay. All right. Yeah. I didn't know because, you know, Tyser asked me about that and I called you right away. And <clears throat> I know they have, they have done this before over in Odie Bowl. I saw the guy doing it over there. Okay. Uh, what he did last year held up really well. Yeah. Yeah, it's still in, in good shape, I think. Um, Tyser called me, Bill Tyser called me from Odebolt and he's looking for somebody to partner up with to actually re-pave, or not pave, asphalt some streets. And if he can get somebody to partner up with him, the paving company that would come in would cheapen the price up. And I called Chris right away and uh, <coughs> we didn't know if we wanted to go down that route or not. So just something for you to think about. This money is in our uh, <clears throat> road use account, and uh, we've got forty. I think today there's almost fifty thousand dollars in there. We're going to spend twenty-eight thousand of that on the seal coats, so we've got enough money in there to pay for this twenty-seven hundred and fifty dollars. If you guys want to do this, questions, concerns, and I know I know this will sway you guys a little bit i shouldn't even say it but gary really liked what the guy did last year oh so. it's automatic man. yeah that's what i kind of thought <laughs> let him make the motion then. <laughs> so we need a motion yes please i make a motion that we call the doctor call the doctor second pay the doctor i'd awesome. second that moved and seconded to accept a bid from the uh pavement doctor all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Uh, public forum, as you can see. Yeah, and I made a real huge dumbass. Like I said, when I was putting this thing together, I don't know what I was thinking. I might have been drinking a little bit, but uh, really? this should have been at the, at yeah, the end at the of the very meeting, end, yeah. And it was not. <clears throat> so uh, the Sac count, or Northwest Iowa League of Cities, excuse me, is in Sac City uh, Thursday. Thursday night. One, Steve. At the Cattlemen's? Yep. At the Cattlemen's. Sounds like the weather's going to be kind of shitty. Is it? It's supposed to be. 5% chance of rain tomorrow or yeah. freezing drizzle or something? Or? Uh, you don't really have to know. They, they like to know by tomorrow morning. But, uh, we'll, we'll talk to the ladies tonight. We can get you in tonight after we get a few drinks. Carousing, yeah. I, was gonna, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I see the look in your eye, Rob. Chris, it's supposed to Actually, it's supposed to warm up for the weekend again. Yeah, it's supposed to be really nice. Mm, not till Friday. Friday, yeah. I said Friday. warm Friday. up for the Friday. weekend. Yeah. Don't anybody, don't yeah. anybody pay attention to me or what? <laughs> Sorry. Isn't I swear to God, I'm at home. Isn't that usually how it works, Franny? It rains during the week, and then on the weekend, it's nice. So you go get real. Go get something to do. Yeah. Uh. Uh, listen, bring that up to him too. 
Oh yeah, this uh, this uh, Western Iowa Advantage Annual Banquet. Is it I don't know. I don't know what it is. Trend, I guess it's trends in economic development and what readiness means today. That's from uh, Chloe. Yeah, Janet, eighty. That's how you say her name is going to be there. And we have we have fifteen tickets as a county. Uh, it's April seventh at five thirty at Templeton. What day? Uh, April seventh is a Tuesday. April seventh yeah, is a Tuesday. 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 Right. And I think the checks. Fifteen dollars in advance. Correct. I believe that's correct. That's what it said on I believe the email. that's correct. I got one in an email. But we've got tickets, so you wouldn't have to pay you anything. If you're first come, first serve, you can yeah. get. There's fifteen tickets available from Chloe. And Templeton just redid their school into the center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their what? Templeton just redid their school into the center. Yep. Yeah. That was uh, that was held by. Uh, yeah. Norm and Diane Barons, because they were on this committee to redesign this, they went down there and helped them. I've been down there. We've had a, we've had a Iowa League of City meetings down at Templeton. Uh, Ken Barons, remember Ken? Wow. Oh, yeah. He's the mayor down there at Templeton. They did a fine job. They did a really fine job. So if if you've never been down there, and then they. Uh, it's a nice, it's a very nice, most established place. When do you know about it? 27th. I don't know. Yeah, March 27th. Well, here, why don't you keep that, Ron? I don't think I'll be going, but if you want to look at it, I'll be going with it. Anything else in the forum? Uh, should tell you today that uh, delivered today at CPS were... 20 tables and 120 chairs, which were all floated at CPS out south. And we put them on pallets. Rick came out with a trailer. I don't know where Chris got the trailer lined up, but. That's our trailer. Is it Rick, ours? Rick lined the trailer up. And I have no idea where you put them, but down by the train. Some of them are in my house, some of them are at Rick's. Oh. You want in? They're in, the <laughs> <laughs> They're in the shelter house. Are they? Are they are? Yep. Yeah. So we're looking for volunteers to move from the other side of the building. Jamie yeah, Jamie's got to Jamie's got to seal the floor yet, so we'll have to move them from one side to the other. So it's not that big a deal. Just we didn't unpack them. Yeah, yeah. All boxes, yeah. Did you bring my palace by? No, we burned. <laughs> <laughs> I move we adjourn. So that was a pretty damn straight Second. face, Third. too, didn't he? Fourth. Uh, moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, Nate?